Hey guys, I'm Rob Shukrat with Three Storm Fitness, and today I'm going to be reviewing my Iron Master Super Bench. Here we go. Oh, there it is. That's my Iron Master Super Bench. I've had this for a few years now. <laughs> Sorry. I've had this for a few months now. I got this about five months ago. I actually got it with my Iron Master adjustable kettlebell there in the corner, which by the way, I did a review on that. Still love it. Iron Master, hear really good things about them. That's why I decided to buy two products from them. And I'm pretty darn satisfied with both of them. There's a few things I want to point out on this rig here. First of all, it is an adjustable bench, as the name entails. It will adjust anywhere from five degrees. Let's see if I can uh, get some crafty camera action here. Five degrees, which probably wouldn't uh, warrant the, the chair. The seat which I'll show you in a second all the way up to 85 degrees you see that little foot lever action that I'm using to do all that down here super solid piece that thing is not coming off nothing in this thing is cheap for as uh, many moving parts as it has uh, for for a bench it seems very very solid the thing weighs 65 pounds when you include the seat so it's very sturdy my father-in-law actually broke his toe on it the other day so that passed that test of sturdiness, poor fella. Um, anyway, so you can do everything in between here. As you can see, we have 11 different positions and it can hold up to 600 pounds. It's rated to hold up to 600 pounds when it's adjusted in an uh, incline or decline position. A thousand pounds if it's flat. I have not put it through any sort of uh, 600 pound test yet, unfortunately my my incline bench does not break 400, so you're just going to have to take their word for it. Um, putting it together was super, super easy. It took no time at all. Uh, most of it just com comes completely assembled. No problem there. The seat here has three different positions. Obviously, if you're just working flat, that's what you want to do. Not have the seat at all. And it just pops into one of the three here. And the nice thing about it is with that seat is I don't know if you've used adjustable benches before or you have to kind of play with the seat a little bit to make it perpendicular to the to the bench um, there's some very very specialized things where you actually would want it to have an angle on it but for most of us you want it perpendicular so it's a pain in the butt to screw with it well this you don't have to you just pop it in and out of the slots there and this thing is not going anywhere at all uh, super, super sturdy. Again, 65 pounds. Uh, what else? So, a couple things that I don't love about it. I'll just get those out of the way. A couple things I don't love about it. It's pretty tall. Um, that actually has a couple, couple benefits. It's not, it's not necessarily a terrible thing, but if you're looking purely from a flat bench, see, I'm, I'm almost 6'4". Excuse me, and as you know, when you bench press, well, as I hope you know, it's important to get leg drive. Uh, so you want to have your feet on the floor in a nice sturdy position. I can do that just barely with this bench. And again, I'm, I'm a pretty big dude. For somebody who's shorter, I mean, it's 20 inches off the ground. Somebody who's shorter, you might have a little bit of trouble producing that leg drive. So one thing you could do is get uh, some yoga blocks. Here's a couple here. You can get some yoga blocks, put them on either side, put your feet on the, uh, on the yoga blocks, obviously without the, without the seat here, and you can drive off of that. That works very well, actually, surprisingly well. Yoga blocks or weight plates, whatever you need to do to get your feet up. Um, but just to show you a comparison, I got an old Marcy bench here. Not nearly as nice a quality, but uh, I do tend to use it over my Iron Master Super Bench because I, it's a lot lower to the ground. It's also a little bit wider. And as a, as a big boy, I like to have the uh, wider bench. And it's a very, very nominal difference. But I'll take it. I'll take all the little advantages I can get. So that's the thing. So this, this bench is super, like the upholstery on here is very, very durable. It's very nice. It's comfortable. Like honestly, I know you don't really necessarily buy a bench for its comfort, but it's really... It's just, they just did a really good job putting it together. But my the thing I don't love about it is 
the bench is just a little narrow and it's a little tall. So I showed you a couple workarounds to get around. If you got like a cheap Marcy bench like this, or not doesn't have to be Marcy, but just some cheap bench for doing flat bench, you could either uh, you could either sub that in. For everything else, I use the super bench. Uh, I use it for chest supported rows. It works great for that. Um, incline stuff. It's just a, it's a fantastic little bench. I'm very happy with it. I bought the super bench because of a lot of the add-ons that come with it. As you can see, this slot in the back, that you could, gosh, what do they have? What do they offer? They offer a uh, dip stand, uh, chin up bar, a let's see, leg extension bar, uh, crunch bar, a lat pull down machine can connect directly to this thing, which is actually why I got this because I figured I might want to get a lat pull down machine uh, that connects to this sometime in the future. That's going to be an extra 400 bucks. This thing, by the way, was 320 I paid $320 for it delivered. Pretty good deal. I mean, if you look at the prices of benches, yeah, that Marcy over there, you could probably get that for, you know, 10 bucks at a garage sale. And I'm happy to have it. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to get something that's going to hold up for, for, for forever, I hope. And um, it provide a lot of solid options. Again, you could grow a lot of different accessories off of this thing. So, all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Again, the only downside that I've come up with so far is the, the height and, and width. And I think part of the reason they did that is, part, I, I'm sure it wasn't, but I'm sure they didn't just accidentally make it too tall. I'm sure the main reason was they, they tried to make a bench that was incredibly versatile since they have all the attachments that they offer for it. So, you know, kudos to Iron Master for, for pulling that off. I just kind of wish they had maybe some sort of built-in option that kind of sub, subbed in the place of the, uh, as, as, as I'm using the yoga blocks. Other than that though, and yes, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, you can, you can do decline on it. Um, the, the only thing is you, you, you're going to want to ideally have the, the leg curl set up, which I think is like an extra 65 bucks, 70 bucks, so that you can hook your, uh, hook your feet in to, to really get proper security. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to say about the Iron Master Super bench today thank you very much for tuning in mm, i'm rob shoecraft three storm fitness please subscribe to my videos have a wonderful day thank you <laughs> i will <laughs> you too much